All right, so today we're gonna to be using the rule of threes to determine if a water filter is a survival item. And this is where this all started from. I think that a water filter is extremely important. I carry a water filter all the time, right? I can't imagine not having a water filter on me. And I view it as a survival item. I view it as something that I don't want to be without ever. Right? If I'm in the woods, if I'm going somewhere I'm not familiar with, I want a water filter. But, as you're going to see, it doesn't mean my personal opinion doesn't make it what I want it to be. Okay, It's going to be what it is, whether I want it to be or not, it is what it is. So let's start off by going through the rules of three and see if this truly is a survival item. All right, so first off is three minutes without air. How is the water filter gonna help you? It's not, <laughs> it really isn't. The only thing I could think of is if you're using it as a straw, if you have a physical straw attached to it and you're underwater, you can use that straw to breathe. Just know it's extremely difficult. If you've never used this straw to breathe underwater, it is hard to breathe through the straw without letting water in. It's hard to get a good seal around the straw. And so it's not. It's not gonna really help you at all. If you can think of a way where a water filter can help you, and I'm talking about all water filters, okay? If you're thinking about no air, you can't breathe, how can a water filter help you? Leave it in the comment section down below. All right, next is three hours exposed to the elements or three hours without shelter. And again, it's not gonna help. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is on a hot summer day, it can help keep you hydrated. And so through all the fluids that you're losing through sweating, you can replenish those fluids with your water filter. Uh, the other thing <clears throat> is when it's a hot summer day, okay? When it comes to boiling water and drinking hot or warm water, it sucks. I don't like doing it. I much prefer on a hot day to filter water and drink straight from the lake or the river or the stream and have that cool, refreshing water. It's just, it's a morale boost. It helps me feel cooled down. And so it does help a little bit, but it mostly helps for morale. Uh, water is water, it doesn't matter. As long as you're replenishing what you're losing, you're gonna be doing well. So again, it's not really gonna help that much, but it does help a little. Finally, we get to a good one, <laughs> okay? Three days without water, this is where a water filter is really gonna shine. You can have so much water. Uh, all you need is a lake, a river, a stream, a pond, a puddle. Uh, it doesn't matter. As long as there's water somewhere around you, you will be able to drink it. And now I understand that not all filters work everywhere, uh, like the Life Straw and the Sawyer Mini and Sawyer Squeeze. They don't filter out viruses or pesticides or anything like that. And so you will need a like a Berkey or a Grail filter that does filter those things out. And so not all filters are gonna work everywhere, but if you have the right filter and you are, have any access to water, you have the ability to stay hydrated, drink clean water that's not going to make you sick. And so this is where a water filter really does shine. When it comes to three days without water and you have a water filter, you don't have to worry about a thing. So. That's where it really, really comes in handy. All right, next is three weeks without food. Again, it's not gonna help you. The only thing I can think of is you're gonna be able to fill up on water instead of food. And so while you're waiting for your next meal, you're not gonna feel so hungry. And then the other thing is you can filter water and then wash fruits and vegetables and different things with it to make them safe to eat. So if you're foraging, you can wash the food before you eat it. And other than that, I can't think of anything else. I don't really think, yeah, I can't think of a way water, a water filter is gonna help get you any food whatsoever. Water will, because you can go fishing and collect fish and frogs and different things. So water will, but the water filter itself isn't gonna help you. So let's jump into the final three things that everyone needs to survive. All right, so jumping in, so the three things, of course, the three things everyone needs to survive is food, water, and shelter. Food, it's not gonna help you. Water, it's gonna help a ton. Shelter, it's not gonna help you. And so, is a water filter a survival item? 
No. I can't think of a single situation where a water filter will save your life, right? Unless you are dehydrated and you have access to water, then yeah, then you can, it'll definitely help. But that's the only situation is if you are dehydrated and you have access to water, a uh, water source, it can help you. Other than that, it's a luxury item. It's a comfort item. Uh, even though I carry it all the time, I always have a Sawyer filter. I always have a backup Sawyer filter. And for me, it's just, it's a peace of mind. Like it's a morale booster. Like I said, on a hot summer day, drinking filtered water that helps cool me down and helps make me feel more comfortable. It's so much nicer than boiling water and drinking hot water on a hot day. And it is doable. I've done it, it does work, you know what I mean? But it's just, it's, it's a lot more enjoyable, right? And so even though I want a water filter to be a survival item, even though I put it in all my survival kits, even though I carry it with me all the time, and I, I personally view it as a must have item, like you must have it, you must carry it, it's not. And using the rule of threes, we can easily determine that it is not something everybody needs. It's not something that everybody should carry. It's just one of those luxury items that I feel strongly about. And it's my personal opinion that guides me to do what I wanna do. And now that you have the information, hopefully you can do what you think is right and what you think is proper. So thank you so much for watching. If you can think of a survival situation where your life or death is dependent on a water filter, Leave it in the comment section down below. You guys have come up with a lot of really great ideas over the course of these videos, and I'm excited to see what you come up with on this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you on my next video.